Hi guys, so today I'm starting my walk um, right opposite Brockton Nurseries. So let's put it on the mat. So we're going to set as the start and crack on. Hey mate, Hiya. you all right? Yeah, come on this way, oh, Brian. Oh, <laughs> way, all on. the best. Yeah. So we're right in the middle of the chase today. And the way I'm facing at the moment is, so just over here is the main drag towards Stafford. And then, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it very good on here, but there's some stunning views over there. And then to this side of us, so to our left as we're walking, if you go and cross the road where I've parked, because we're a little bit further up now. Um, that will take you down into Sherbrooke Valley and the Stepping Stones. So we're just the other side of, the, of Sherbrooke Valley, right in the centre of the chase, basically. And again, it's another good one. Um, I've seen a couple of people walking their dogs, but on the whole, this route again, if you want a nice peaceful walk without seeing many people, this is another good one, guys. Friend for life, mate, feeding him, I tell you. So just when I said it was going to be quiet. Hello. Hello, Baba. <laughs> Most of the time, if you just leave them to it, that sound, they're just sorted out amongst themselves. Hello. Oh yeah, you're right. Hello. Hello, gorgeous. Sod's law, innit? I say it's nice and quiet. And then today, everybody decides to come here. <laughs> Like most places at this time of the year, this track can get extremely muddy, so just make sure that you've got the right footwear on. You know, you want some good, sturdy, waterproof walking boots or trainers if you come into places like this. During the summer months, when I come over here with my backpack, and uh, like my full rucksack and my camping stove. This is the kind of spot where I'll stop off, get a little bit of shade from the sun, do myself a little bit of lunch and a coffee, bring their food as well. And yeah, spend the afternoon over here really. 
you just can't beat it. This way. Come on. So we've sort of done a loop and we're back now down towards that little village of Brockton and we, if we were to head straight up this hill here we're probably about level with the car now but I'm going to loop round even further so I'm going to go past these houses here right around the side and hopefully sometimes you get to see deer up at this point and uh, the sun's just come out as well so it's actually turned out to be quite a lovely walk so that is a bit of me I, I would not mind my house backing onto the chase, I tell you. This way, boys. Come on, this way. Come on, Ost. So, if you just hug this fence here, all the way round and you're quiet quite often you can see quite a few deer around here but you know sod's law as we've already experienced today we probably won't but let's see So a uh, bit of a hill to climb now and that law, that is sod, <laughs> as I said, normally when you come into this opening here, the amount of times that I've walked around here and there's been loads of deer there and you can just walk straight past them because they know that they've got an escape route to the field over there I mean I've lost count and then I'll come over here with my camera to do a video and they're not there sod's law at the top of the hill then back on the footpath Sometimes you see deer around here, so let's keep our fingers crossed. You never know. You know, sometimes, as, as much as I love my house, 
and I love where I live. When you come out and you see places like this, this little patch of land here, I'd love, sometimes, I'd, I say I'd love it, I love the thought of it, and it would be a great opportunity to at least try, but I'd love to like rent a little plot of land like this, and have like a, a little temporary dwelling, and just experience what life would be like living somewhere like this, with them views and like this peace and quiet. And I don't doubt that the reality would probably be far different to what we think it would be, but I'd love to give it a try. You ever seen that program? Um, is it Sarah Beanie, How to Live Mortgage Free? Yeah. So, we're on our way back to the car now. You can see there that loop that we've done. Uh, the car is back up this way though, because obviously as you saw on the map there, we have gone past it. But I do highly recommend you getting over towards this way, if you haven't already. We've been a little bit unlucky today. There's normally a lot more wildlife, but again, time of year doesn't help. Um, but I always enjoy it, it's always peaceful. I have seen a few more people today than what I normally do. But as you can see, we're back on the estate now, that housing estate, Brockton. The Brockton Garden Centre, the nurseries is just up here, which is where we've parked. So I'm gonna leave that video there. If you have liked it, please do it the thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel if you're watching on YouTube or following on Facebook. And I'll see you on the next one. All the best.